What's going on everybody? I thought I would chime in really quick and just uh, first let you guys know that right now uh, it was just announced at Cisco Live that they are gonna go ahead and do a 50% off any certification uh, exams and I think that's a pretty sweet deal that Cisco is doing. The other thing that I wanted to walk you guys through is to help you guys through all of your certification needs. I'm gonna show you guys how to install CML2 on an ESXi server. So let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to run through this pretty quickly. Uh, it's very easy to install CML. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, CML is pretty much what's gonna be replacing uh, viral. And uh, it's a much uh, sleeker interface and installing it is, is very, very simple. It's gonna help you guys out with any of your CCNA, CCMP kind of materials. Uh, if you guys have any questions about IT training as well, I have a link for a 30% off code at IT Pro TV in the description, so check that out. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to uh, software.cisco.com and look up uh, CML or under modeling labs. You're gonna to want to download the OVA and you're gonna also need to download the ISO file. The ISO file is six gigs, so you're gonna to need to download this for a little while. And so once you guys are done downloading all that stuff, you can go ahead and move forward and go to your ESXi server. Again, there are a lot of tutorials out there that focus on how to do this on platforms like VMware Workstation. So I thought I'd do one on how to do it on ESXi. So here I am uh, in the console and I have my virtual machines up. Don't really have much going on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and create a virtual machine and then I wanna deploy an OVA file. So it's very simple, just go next, CML2. I'm gonna click here and go ahead and put in that OVA file that I downloaded. Go ahead and go next, next. And I'm gonna keep this as, as a thin provision but I do not want to power on automatically. Finish. And here's a really, really important part. Uh, notice how down here it's currently going through a process and you want to make sure that you give it time and allow it to go through that entire process before doing anything else. So just sit tight for, for a minute or so and, and then we'll get started on the editing the configuration. All right, so that task completed successfully. Now what I want to go ahead and do first is go to CML and I'm going to edit the settings because there's a couple of things that I want to do here. Uh, these are the minimum requirements for the storage and compute resources. I've already selected my VLAN 7 which is my static uh, VLAN that I use here for my lab. And the other thing you want to do here, and this is really important, you want to make sure that you go to CD drive, click ISO and you want to move that ISO file uh, into a, your data store. So in my case, I have it here already, but if you wanted to upload it, you can just hit the upload button and go ahead and upload that, that RefPlat ISO that you downloaded earlier. I already have it here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select and make sure to connect. Once I got that going, there's one other thing that I wanna make sure to check as well and that's under CPU, make sure that you are you have the hardware virtualization uh, ticked on. So hit save, and let's go ahead and power this guy on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the console here. Open browser console. And uh, this is the first piece, and you're just gonna hit enter on your keyboard. Navigating this is a little weird. Uh, here I'm gonna hit tab to go between back over to accept the EULA. You can uh, go ahead and go through that if you'd like to. Just hit enter to continue. Uh, this is pretty important here if you want to read through that, but I will kind of explain our way through that as we go. I'm going to hit enter. And in your case, you're going to be utilizing the CML personal, uh, but because um, I, I work for Cisco and the license that I have is for the enterprise edition, uh, I'm just going to hit the space bar. I'm going to go with the up arrows up and down and then hit the space bar on CML Enterprise. But for you guys at home, you guys are gonna be using CML Personal. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is the sysadmin default username. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a very simple password here for that. And again, I'm navigating with the up and down arrow. And then if I hit the tab button, that takes me down to continue. So I hit enter. This says that the password isn't good enough, but I don't care, so I'm just gonna 
arrow to the left and hit yes. And I'm going to put another very simple password here for admin. This is going to be for the actual graphical user interface. I'm going to hit tab and then continue. Once again, I'm going to ignore this and continue anyway. Here it's asking for the static IP address. In this case, I'm going to go down and hit static and hit the space bar because I want to make sure that this is a very specific IP address. And so I have it specified already in my lab. Here's my default gateway. My DNS server, uh, I'm going to utilize um, Google's 8.8.8 uh, .8 .8 DNS server. Um, and I'm just going to put this with sn.local. And that is my local uh, DNS uh, domain name. And I'm going to hit tab and enter to continue and then confirm. This uh, goes through a little process here. It, it actually really doesn't take that long. So once again, just sit tight for about a minute and you should be uh, good to go here pretty soon. All right, so you're gonna be presented with this. I'm just gonna ignore that and hit okay. And you'll see here that CML has finished installing. And it says here in blue to access the UI, go to that address using HTTPS. So I'm going to go and close that and open up a browser and I'm gonna go to HTTPS. Actually, I'm just gonna navigate to it here using my, um, my bookmark. This is going to HTTPS um, 10.0.7.5, which is what I specified earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So now you're in and you actually have a 30 day trial. I'll put the link below on how you can go ahead and buy the personal edition. So you can go ahead and start using this after the 30 days. Now you'll notice here I have a system health issue and that's all around licensing. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that really quick. So the VM itself needs to have access to the internet. So you'll notice here that uh, there needs to be a small smart call home uh, transport. So this is a URL that it's trying to hit. As long as you're able to reach out to the internet, you should be okay there. Uh, when you purchase the CML license, you should also be creating a smart account for yourself. Uh, if you're not familiar with smart accounts, I can go ahead and walk you guys through that really quickly. If you navigate over to software.cisco.com, I'll have it here. Uh, this is what you're going to be presented with. Uh, to request um, a smart account, you can go ahead and do that here. I already have a smart account, so I'm just going to navigate over to smart account licensing, which is right here. And I have a token that uh, I'm going to actually blur out here. It's, it's actually much longer than this, but um, when you go through the process of um, registering, what you got to do is hit the register button and it's going to ask you to generate a token. So when you go over to this guy over here, you will go ahead and click new token, expire after so and so many days, and maximum number of uses. You can make that one or two, doesn't matter, create the token. Once you have that there, then it's really just a matter of copying this token and placing it into, uh, into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so I placed in the token and as you can see it registered and registration completed successfully. So that's pretty neat. Now it's now authorized and I am ready to use CML with 20 nodes capacity included. So pretty sweet, no more uh, message there. And now you can go ahead and go into your labs and start creating, you know, lab number one and start um, messing with that. So. Pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have a couple of videos as well, probably in the future, uh, where I'm going to uh, do a couple of labs. So I'm going to maybe throw in an iOS V in here, maybe a um, iOS um, layer two switch and uh, just start messing with it. So hopefully that was helpful for some of you guys. If uh, you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. I'm uh, looking forward to creating some new content. So I'll see you guys back really soon.